We have a little bit of everything at this place. Unique wooden toys, an old dentist chair, dehydrated water, and a line of locks. I have no idea where the keys of those locks are. They're locked together forever, I guess. An emporium of oddities. Well, I guess you can say it was one of the Walmarts of its day. You can find it all at T.C. Lindsay and Company in Jonesville. It's the oldest continuously operating old-timey mercantile store in the state of Texas. One item cuts deep into people's taste buds. Most people want their cheese sliced with that old cheese cutter. It's called hoop cheese. The unit itself is over 100 years old. And they sell over 70 pounds of it a week. Customers grab some cheese and crackers and enjoy their lunch by the fire while playing checkers using old Coke bottle lids. Today I'm excited about coming through here with my daughter. So this is a, a repeat trip and enjoy it every time. T.C. Lindsay opened in 1847 about a mile up the road, but relocated after the Civil War. In the early days, it was a place where people would come to get food or clothing or tools. The store moved in 1922 to be closer to the railroad, but the trains don't stop anymore. You used to bring the mail and take the cotton, and now it just wakes everybody up. A cotton gin was located across the street, and farmers would have it weighed. Each bale had a unique number, and we had to keep record of each bale that was ginned here. You can even find the last bale of cotton they ginned here from 1973. One of the features of this old country store is this long porch where the local folks come and sit and watch the traffic go by. Descendants of the original owners operate the store today. Our fathers spent their lives here. Grandfather and a great uncle were involved, and we're trying to find a way to preserve it. 93-year-old Sybil Elliott has been an employee since 1957. She remembers helping a former first lady who grew up in nearby Karnak. She came in and she said, oh, do you know who I am? And I said, yes, ma'am, I believe you're Lady Bird Thompson. And, uh, she wanted to know if we had uh, Cracker Jacks in the box. Several movies were filmed at the store. Sybil enjoyed meeting all of the stars. I still have their signatures. Uh, uh, Sybil Shepherd, and Ava Gardner and Jason Robard. John Miller is the future of the store. He plans to keep the store operating the same. I've been told that's the way we've always done it. That's the way we're going to keep doing it. It doesn't make sense. That's fine. It's worked for 100 years, so it'll keep working. CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith, and that's my story.